I'm now joined by rugby legend himself, Keith Wood, and here we are standing on what will be the balcony of this international rugby experience. What an asset to Limerick City. I know, it's something absolutely magic, but beautiful, isn't it? Uh, when you look at the, the quality of the work that's in behind us in the middle of, uh, in the middle of a Georgian O'Connell Street, it actually fits in incredibly well. And of course, to be from Limerick and to have this international, it's not just Munster, it is international with some massive names. Like that is such a great thing because, you know, Limerick is associated with Munster and with rugby. But to have all these people donate the most amazing, incredible memorabilia, it's going to attract people from all over the world. Well, there's a bit of memorabilia, but you wouldn't believe the amount of time and IP that all those players are willing to give and past players because they're interested in the idea of, of... I really think exploring how great rugby was, the journey of rugby, uh, remembering the history and also being a part of a proper regeneration of a city. I mean, I actually worked, I started working just over there. That's where I started working 30 years ago. Um, I know this place incredibly well. Limerick has gone a bit tired over the time and there's been huge plans time after time. But sometimes you just need somebody to go and do something. And in fairness to JP, he as he invariably does, delivers and delivers for Limerick. So, look, he's totally enthralled with sport and he's totally enthralled with Limerick. So this is an opportunity to do both in the centre of the city. And as well, you mentioned there the history of rugby. So you're talking like, you know, rugby has changed so much in recent years and for the younger generation coming up, they might not have known what rugby was like when it first began. So I guess this is a chance for them to learn about how it first began. Well, there's a, there's a bit of education, of course there is, but there's also celebration for, 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 for what it is, for what we have. And one of the things, again, back to JP, one of his ideas on this was he loves the fact that every, every man, well, it's every man and every woman now can play rugby and, and does play rugby. You know, it was considered to be an elitist uh, sport in other cities, never in Limerick. And that's a big part of it too. So the idea is to is to look at the game, to understand the game, to practice different parts of it. And some of the interactive ability of Inside Here is going to be amazing. Um, we'll tease you with a thought <laughs> of that, but won't tell you the full details. Um, but we've got Event Communications who have developed the Titanic experience in, in Belfast. It's it's just exciting watching them work and how they go about it. So, look, I'm really looking forward to seeing how it becomes. I can see it from the outside that the building is going to be magic, a cathedral to, to um, another cathedral, the cathedral in Limerick, but a cathedral to rugby, which is pretty amazing. Well, as I say, I think Munster and Limerick is the home to rugby, so it's only right that we, uh, we have this experience here to bring people over. Yeah, I'm very careful to, to, <laughs> not, to not say that I would call it the spiritual home <laughs> rather than just the home. So it kind of fits the bill for us. But... Um, Look, it's something that the city needs. You know, we need we need the, the plans not to be shelved, but to be worked on. And this is one of them. And like, this is a huge investment in the city. It's also a huge investment to all the other businesses in the city because the knock-on spend that happens from sports tourists is very high. And we would hope that it generates a huge amount of income in the years to come for the other businesses in the city. Absolutely, of course, Will. And before I let you go, I have to talk about the British and Irish Lions. I think it was just this morning the team was announced for the next test. Conor Murray, of course, being there, a proud Limerick man. Yeah. What do you make of the squad? Uh, look, I think the squad's good. I thought the the performance at the weekend was, the first half was the way that the, the team was picked to play. It didn't work, yeah. so they changed it to another way. And I, I felt there was going to be a few changes because of that. Um, the combinations aren't really fully linked yet and there isn't the time to do it. So I think it'll be more of a lot of kicking yeah. and I think it'll be unbelievably attritional. Um, I think it's going to be a really tough one for the Lions at the weekend. I really do. I, I, I think South Africa will be better for having played a match. Um, I wouldn't be betting against them at the moment. <laughs> yeah. I think it's absolutely wonderful, though, to see so many Irish lads on the squad as well. And, you know, there was talks that the Lions wouldn't even go ahead, but thankfully it has gone ahead and we can support them from here, which is great. No, we can. I don't play the the Irish green card on that one. I think it's whatever the best players are that are there. I, th I think when you look at the players that we have on the team, they're players who've performed all this year and have come back to some of their their, their better, better play. And you see Jack Conan... Yeah. Um, very proud Leinsterman and we can say that wearing the red of Munster down here he just looks to the manner born he is, his performance is rising to a standard because he's playing with incredible players around him so I think, um, I think we're just happy to see the guys in the red jersey in the Lions in this instance <laughs> uh, doing very well and I'm sure plenty of Lions memorabilia will of course be here in autumn 2022 Keith Woods as always thank you so much for chatting to us the Limer Post Show pleasure Megan